Over the last few years, fuel cell vehicles have become a commercial reality, however, at elevated prices. In this concept, the fuel cell produces electricity to drive an electric engine. They offer long-range, fast refueling, and pollution-free alternatives to fossil fuel-powered vehicles. In a polymer electrolyte fuel cell, hydrogen and air are fed to the cell. Electrochemical reactions take place to generate water, electricity, and heat. Removing the water from the cell is challenging. In porous diffusion layers, the paths for air and water are tortuous, which leads to mass transport losses. Researchers from the Publisher Institute in Switzerland came up with a solution for this problem. In the newly synthesized materials, hydrophilic channels provide straightforward pathways to transport the water. This leaves dry, low-resistance areas for the transport of gases. We we'll start with a plain carbon fiber paper. The paper is deep coated with a dispersion of a hydrophobic polymer, such as Teflon. A thermal treatment evaporates the solvent and sinters the polymeric coating. The material is then exposed to an electron beam using masks with a predefined pattern. Radicals are created in the exposed regions. Later, the material is immersed in a hydrophilic monomer solution at moderate temperature to initiate the grafting reaction. This generates hydrophilic surfaces in the irradiated regions. Thanks to the hydrophilic domains, water concentrates in the channels designed for that purpose, as can be seen in this video. On the upper right side, you can see an energy dispersive X-ray analysis showing the elemental distribution. The chlorine signal indicates the presence of hydrophilic polymer. Finally, fuel cell performance was significantly improved under various operating conditions. This novel material saw potential to improve fuel cell power density and decrease the cost, which would help widespread commercialization of the technology. And material science and engineering makes it possible.